Hello, everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Been working on my wings pretty much all day and all last night. I got the trailing edges on it. I got the wing tips, the leading edge. Got it all sanded. Man, let me tell you guys something. These wings are turning out really nice. They are awesome. Here's the bottom. Nice, flat bottom airfoil. But uh, we wanted to go over with you guys with what we're doing. These are just plugs. These are not going to go on my airplane. We are not using these foam wings. I'm going to mold these. And what we're going to use is we're just going to use the skins off of these, the top and the bottom skins. And I'm going to get my slats molded in. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put a parting plane right there where my slat piece is. And then we're going to mold. Uh, inner, the inner part of the shelf. We're going to mold that separate and we'll be able to glue it in afterwards. And the same way with my flaps. The flaps are kind of weird on these. The skin comes down here and back up and the flap is a big old piece that goes under it. And then the spoilers go right next to it. So we're going to make all them separate. And we're just going to use the skins off of these. And, the, and so we won't be cutting no flaps out. We're just going to put the panel lines where they go and then we can just come and cut it out. And uh, that's what we got going on there. And guess what? The first flight of the first B-1 was in October of, of 84. And we're doing our test flight in October of uh, 2009. That's exactly 25 years after the original B-1 flew. Ain't that something? And guess what else we made today? Old Butch made us up some cards. Check them out. The RCB1 model project. They don't want to focus in too good, but this is by Bob and Dad. And uh, it's got my name and there's some pretty nice cards right there. Butch did that for me. But what we got going on now is we're making the spar system for my wings. And how they're, we're going to set, pull it up on the computer. We're going to take you in and show you. But they're actually going to hold the bearings and they're going to be made out of carbon fiber and then they're quite a bit smaller than the wings but that's going to be our spar system then we're going to fasten these skins to that well, let me show you this the machine's cutting it out see this is where our bearing brace will fit in and all this will be carbon fiber but we need this because we got to make a mold but our part will actually be carbon fiber. It'll go from there all the way to the tip. And it'll all be carbon fiber. It'll be tough. These wings are going to be tough, tough. But, and uh, we're cutting it out now. This is a pretty neat machine. We had a guy asking about these machines. This is a, a e from Easy CNC. Pretty nice little machine. Uh, it had a router head on it which will cut anything but it was so loud and you know these stick cuts take so long but said it was just driving him nuts so he put that just uh what's that head called it's just a spindle it's kind of like just a drill motor and uh it's, it ain't quite so loud of course just fine on this phone but we'll take you inside and show you what we're talking about on our spar system Okay, there is the wing, and you see the full outline of the wing, and the part we're cutting now is just this inside part, the black, and the red in the center, and that'll all be carbon fiber, that'll all be one hunk, up here by where that bearing goes, we're going to carbon fiber that up, and then we'll be able to taper the carbon fiber down as we go out, and then we'll laminate our skins to this piece right here. And that will be tough, tough, tough. And see, when you get into these composite wings, what you really got to worry about is the wing collapsing. If you can keep all that composite stuff from collapsing and make it real rigid, that thing will just, you can drive a car on it. But that's, that's uh, we had a lot of questions today. We, me and Butch been so busy. We ain't had time to sit down and answer them questions. But uh, that's kind of what we got going on. And then these are going to be our flaps or Fowler flap mounting points 
And uh, here's one of them pieces I just said doing right here. <coughs> You go, Butch can hold on to that and kind of work it. Okay, see, that's going to be our track for our Fowler flap. And that's where them they're going to mount to, is on the back edge of that spar piece we're making. And then we're going to mold these flaps separate, and then they'll just hinge out. And then our skin will go on top, and we'll be able to, and then our spoilers will go right there. And that's how it's going to work, folks. It's going to look just like the real one. This is going to be one nice wing. This you're turning out awesome so far. And then when we laminate all that stuff together, it'll be like a dang car ramp, man. You'll be able to drive a car across that thing, and it won't budge. And then once we get our flaps all added on, see them skins will come down, and they go kind of go around them and in and out. We'll trim all them skins away and add our spoilers right there and our leading edge slats and our flaps so I hope you guys paid attention <laughs> but that's what we got going on and I'm getting ready to head back home tonight and I'm going to start priming on these wings and while Butch is going to stay here and he's going to cut away I'm telling you people we're on our mission this thing is going to fly in October and we got our other buddy, Paul, he took all that aluminum home last night for our main box. Now that main box that we showed you guys yesterday, that wooden one, we are not using that wood box. That wood box is just a mock-up. That means we make it out of wood first and we get all this figured out and then we make it out of aluminum. That way we ain't scrapping a bunch of that expensive aluminum. But Paul has got that box all cut out. He did that today. And we gotta go take it and have them uh, ears bent at 1.9 degrees because these wings kind of angle down. And once we get that done on that machine, they're gonna go do that tomorrow. Then we'll be able to weld all that up. And uh, our main spar will be done be working on my wings the spar system for the wings is going to be done oh uh, my wheels and tires were shipped yesterday so they'll be here shortly folks this is coming together you guys got to stay tuned it's going to be coming hot and fast so uh, for now this is what we got for you I hope you enjoyed these flurries of videos and butch on his CNC machine, I tell you, there's a lot of computer work that goes into this. A lot of people think, well, they can just slap a piece of foam on there and cut that out. Oh no, oh no, it ain't that easy. It's, it's the hours he spends right there that makes this happen. And we don't even want to talk about the man hours old Butch has got in this, this B1 bomber project. You guys think I got a lot of hours in on it? Uh, but anyway, Butch is not nice Scott. He just loves this thing. And we're going to get it flying. So, until I get back to my shop, that's where I'm going to see you. You guys have a nice evening, and we'll see you back at the shop.